Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the sunshine cushion. Now before we get started, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I have used crochet hook 4mm. You can use any crochet yarn, but I have used cotton 4 ply yarn. And you need cotton stuffing to stuff the cushion. Now this cushion measures 14 inches counting the pom-poms at the edge. So let's get started. We begin with a magic circle. Now if you don't know to work the magic circle, I have a video on how to work the magic circle. I will be leaving the link to that video below in the description box. Now once you have your magic circle, in the magic circle you need to work 6 single crochets. You start with one, two, three, four, five and six. Now once you complete your six single crochets you need to pull in this end and close the circle and join the row with the help of a slip stitch in the first chain in the first single crochet that we started with right here so you work a slip stitch in the first single crochet now you chain one now right into that stitch in the same stitch you need to work two single crochets. So you start with one and two. Now you need to work two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One and two. Two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and two single crochets in the last stitch. So that's one and two. Now you need to join the row with the help of a slip stitch in the first stitch that we made the first single crochet right here join your row and you need to have a total of 12 single crochets in this row now once you complete your row you need to chain one you need to work one single crochet in the same stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch so that's one and two. Now again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. Now again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch one and two again one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the stitch next to it one and two now again in the next stitch you need to work one single crochet And in the next stitch you need to work two single crochets so one and two now you're left with two stitches so in the first stitch right here you work one single crochet and in the last stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two 
and now you need to join your row with the help of a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that we started with so right here now once you complete your row you need to chain one and you need to work one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and in the third stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two in the same stitch now again in the first stitch you need to work one single crochet in the second stitch you need to work one single crochet and in the third stitch you need to work two single crochets one and two now again in the first stitch you need to work one single crochet in the second stitch you need to work one single crochet and in the third stitch you need to work two single crochets in the same stitch so that's one and two so you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row in the first stitch you work one single crochet in the second stitch you work one single crochet and in the third stitch you need to work two single crochets and repeat the pattern for the rest of your row once you complete your row you need to join it with the help of a slip stitch in the first single crochet right here and now you need to chain one you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch in the second one one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now you need to repeat the pattern for the rest of your row you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you need to work two single crochets Continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started the row with, right here. And now you need to chain one. You need to work one single crochet in the first stitch. one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and in the fifth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and right into the fifth stitch you need to work two single crochets 
so that's one and two now you need to continue working this pattern for the rest of your row you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and in the fifth stitch you need to work two single crochets continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with the slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started the row with right here and now you chain one you need to work one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch that's the second one one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch and right into the sixth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch and right into the sixth stitch you need to work two single crochets and now you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch and right into the sixth stitch you need to work two single crochets continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with right here and now you need to chain one you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch and right into the seventh stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch and right into the seventh stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with right here you need to chain one and now you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch and right into the eighth stitch you need to work two single crochets it's one and two again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch and right into the eighth stitch you need to work two single crochets one and two 
and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with now you chain one you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch one single crochet in the eighth stitch and right into the ninth stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch one single crochet in the eighth stitch and right into the ninth stitch you need to work two single crochets one and two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row once you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with right here and now you chain one you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch one single crochet in the eighth stitch one single crochet in the ninth stitch and right into the tenth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch one single crochet in the eighth stitch one single crochet in the ninth stitch and right into the tenth stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch one single crochet in the eighth stitch one single crochet in the ninth stitch one single crochet in the tenth stitch and right into the eleventh stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch one single crochet in the sixth stitch seven eight nine and 10 and right into the 11th stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two 
and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row once you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with and now you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches and in the 12th stitch we are going to work two single crochets so we start with the first stitch you need to work your first single crochet right here right into the first slip stitch it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and now right into the twelfth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again in the next 11 stitches you need to work one single crochet so we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and right into the twelfth stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with and now you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 12 stitches and in the 13th stitch you need to work two single crochets so we start with the first one right into the same stitch that you worked your slip stitch right here it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and now in the thirteenth stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two again you need to work one single crochet in the next 12 stitches that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and in the 13th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first single crochet that you started your row with now you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 13 stitches and right into the 14th stitch you need to work two single crochets so we start with the first one right here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and right into the fourteenth stitch 
you need to work two single crochets that's one and two and again you need to work one single crochet in the next 13 stitches and in the 14th stitch you need to work two single crochets and again you need to keep repeating this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 14 stitches and in the 15th stitch you need to work two single crochets. So we start with our chain one first and you need to work the first stitch right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and in the 15th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 14 stitches and in the 15th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 15 stitches and in the 16 stitch you need to work two single crochets we start with one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and in the 16th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 15 stitches and in the 16th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with. You chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 16 stitches and in the 17th stitch you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And now in the 17th stitch you need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. And now again you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 16 stitches. And in the 17th stitch you need to work two single crochets. And you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. 
After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with. And now you chain one. And now you need to work one single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. And in the 18th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and in the 18th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 17 stitches and in the 18th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 18 stitches and in the 19th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So we start with the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and now in the 19th stitch you need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. And now again, in the next 18 stitches, you need to work one single crochet and in the 19th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. And you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with. Chain 1. And now you need to work one single crochet in the next 19 stitches and in the 20th stitch you need to work two single crochets. We start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and now in the 20th stitch, we need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. Now again, you need to work one single crochet in the next 19 stitches. And in the 20th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. And you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with. And now you chain one. 
you need to work one single crochet in the next 20 stitches and in the 21st stitch you need to work two single crochets so we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and now in the twenty one stitch you need to work two single crochets so that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 20 stitches and in the 21st stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started your row with and now you chain one you need to work one single crochet in the next 21 stitches and in the 22nd stitch you need to work two single crochets we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and in the twenty second stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 21 stitches and in the 22nd stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first stitch that you started with and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 22 stitches and in the 23rd stitch you need to work two single crochets we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two and now in the twenty third stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two and now again you need to work one single crochet in the next twenty two stitches 
and in the 23rd stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 23 stitches and in the 24th stitch you need to work two single crochets we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and now in the twenty fourth stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to continue working one single crochet in the next 23 stitches and in the 24th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and you chain one. And now you need to work one single crochet in the next 24 stitches and in the 25th stitch you need to work two single crochets. We start with the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24 and now in the 25th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two. Now you need to continue working one single crochet in the next 24 stitches and in the 25th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row you need to join it with the slip stitch and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 25 stitches and in the 26th stitch you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24 and 25 and now in the 26th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 25 stitches and in the 26th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 26 stitches. And in the 27th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26 and now in the 27th stitch you need to work two single crochets that's one and two and now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 26 stitches and in the 27th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch. And you chain one. And now you need to work one single crochet in the next 27 stitches. And in the 28th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27. And now in the 28th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. And now again, you need to work one single crochet in the next 27 stitches. And in the 28th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. And you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch and you chain one and now you need to work one single crochet in the next 28 stitches and in the 29th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So you start with one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And now in the 29th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. And now again, you need to work one single crochet in the next 28 stitches. And in the 29th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. And you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch. And you chain one. And now you need to work one single crochet in the next 29 stitches. And in the 30th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. So we start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And in the 30th stitch, you need to work two single crochets. That's one and two. And now again you need to work one single crochet in the next 29 stitches and in the 30th stitch you need to work two single crochets and you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of your row. After you complete one circle you need to make the second one using the same pattern and now what you need to do is after you complete your row, you need to keep both the circles one on top of each other. Make sure the right sides are on top. And then you need to go around attaching them using a slip knot, I'm sorry, a slip stitch or a single crochet. I'm going to use single crochet to attach them. So first you attach one corner with a slip stitch like this. And then you need to go into each stitch and work one single crochet. joining both the circles together. You can use a slip stitch as well but I like joining them with a single crochet. So keep doing this till you attach both the circles right up till here and you need to leave a little space to fill in the cotton. 
I've completed working the cushion and I filled it and closed the ends. Now I'll show you how to make one pom pom. You need a string cut out like this. And you take your yarn and you need to roll it over your fingers like this. You can roll it as much as you want around like 80 or 90 times the more you roll it the fluffier the pom-pom will get you can use a pom-pom maker as well now once you've done this you need to use your crochet hook you insert it like this take your yarn pull it through and now you need to tie it Tie it tight and remove it. And now you need to cut it. This is your pom-pom. You need to make around 25 or 30 pom-poms for the edge. And now you need to pull it through the stitches here. Your single crochet stitch. like this and tie the ends and using the yarn needle you need to pull in the ends into the cushion and you need to cut it off now you can attach as many pom-poms as you want you can use the same color or different color pom-pom to complete the row We've completed making the cushion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting.